welcome back to the channel guys if you're new here i'm currently in south america going on the biggest tennis trip of my life playing a lot of challenger tournaments and hope you guys are gonna tag along with me so it's finally game time we're playing the first round of doubles we had a couple of great days before uh practicing I'm trying to play a lot of practice sets because you know it's always so different playing points and and just practicing on clay especially doubles it's just just very different the way you gotta move and we had a couple of great practices before so we really felt like we're ready to go here and our first round opponents is actually Enzo Gucaud and Jeffrey Blancano from France. They're very experienced. They've played multiple Grand Slams. I think they both have won multiple matches at Grand Slams in doubles as well. They're sure very good players. Obviously, Grand Slams is a big goal for me. So this is another great opportunity to kind of see how I measure against guys that have competed in Grand Slams and actually won matches in Grand Slams. It's a big key strategy here against these guys. As we know, they're both very comfortable singles guys. We really want to avoid those cross court rallies against these guys as much as possible we really want to look to make moves at the net as much as possible and we really want to make sure to be the aggressors this match never making them feel comfortable at all during the match so we get off to a great start here actually in the first game having a great point opportunity which we unfortunately do not get but then uh, yeah in the second game as i'm serving my partners do a really good job just taking up so much space at the net really just covering all the angles and uh, yeah just really being very big up there Two quick holes there, uh, we're back at it, trying to be very aggressive here, constantly looking to come forward after returns. Here you can see my partner doing a great move coming forward. And then yeah, making sure to break that kind of cross court rally as we talked about before there. And then I want to say that this point mentally was actually a very big kind of breaking point. I really felt like me and my partner just took up so much space there and he kind of felt that he was uncomfortable, just wasn't sure what kind of shot he was going to choose there. And yeah, now we got a couple of break points to And after some scrambling, we finally managed to get a break there. It is a little tricky. It's a lot of wind actually moving one way. Uh, so you can kind of see there a lot of times it's, it's easy to kind of mistime the ball a little bit. Yeah, some very scrappy, some tricky points here. Uh, they're starting to find a return as well, but yeah, my partners keep doing a great job just covering up there and the middle. And then we get into another scrambly point, and I unfortunately missed that very crucial volley. And an unbelievable lob by Enzo there. And uh, we're back at it. Unfortunately, here there were some issues with the stream actually, so it kind of jumped straight away, but. Uh, yeah, we're jumping straight away into the tiebreak here. And uh, yeah, between you and me here, this might not show on the stream, but actually at this point, I don't know what happened, but I don't know if I got like a heat stroke or something, but I just started getting extremely dizzy and like, I don't know, I was just so tired between the points and I was just really trying to find some kind of way to, to really dial in for, for uh, I don't know, just during the points, just really try to lock in and do everything I could especially here very crucial move as we talked about before just trying to break that cross court pattern as soon as possible but with a good serve here they now have three points to seal the first set Eight points that uh, we managed to bring back to six all here. Really painful miss there on set point by me. I feel like we really got that point to where we wanted it. We did a very good job of just being very solid there at the net, but luckily we have another chance here.
super excited to announce that my Stiga Supreme, my racket of choice, is now available to all you guys. Just check out the link in the description how you can get your own. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. And uh, yeah, more info about Stiga Supreme in the description. Let's get back to the video. Ciao. We finally managed to squeak out that first set by the slimmest of marginals, saving a bunch of set points on the way there. But yeah, now here in the second set, it's so important to keep trying to build on that momentum and uh, hopefully run away with it. But obviously these guys are not going anywhere and uh, let's see if we can keep trying to build. We know our game plan and we're just going to keep trying to push these guys and try to bring the match into kind of the game plan that we are more comfortable in. But with a bunch of, I don't know, very good points there by them, they managed to, to squeak out the break there. I feel like both me and my partner were still pretty happy though. I feel like we did everything right that game. Uh, and. Yeah, I feel like we have the match where we kind of want it in a way, so we're just going to keep doing the right stuff and uh, see what happens. And through a really crazy point that we finally managed to break back there i feel like my partner did a very tricky little return there that put us in a great position for that whole point and yeah we just kept on building kept on doing the right stuff there and yeah managed to even out the second set here Great move here by my partner after that return, just constantly putting pressure as we talked about before. That's so key here after a good return that we're just constantly always trying to be in their face, not making them comfortable because we know how good they can hit the ball from the back and we just constantly want to try to avoid that at any cost. But this is how quickly tables can turn in doubles and after being down a break, all of a sudden we find ourselves up a break here and it's really key here just to get a good quick service game here to keep putting a lot of pressure on them and it caused my doubles partners just doing such a good job there of never making them you know comfortable where to put the ball it's just yeah it's just taking up so much space there and yeah now we're just a couple points away from trying to seal my first challenger doubles match win hopefully We just won the doubles match. Um, good preparation, has been feeling good the last couple of days. And then now we played at four o'clock and the sun was just right on us. And I was feeling pretty good. But like in the warm up, I was starting to feel a little tired, uh, like we're in practice before. We got on the court, you know, I brought a lot of adrenaline by going and I feel like we were trying to do the right stuff, just kept competing. And then for some reason in the break, the, the point of one off it was a long point. And after that point, I just got super dizzy. And between the points, I didn't know what to do. I was like scared to fall over. And every time right before the point, I started to like try to bounce. And it's like, let's try to focus for 10 seconds, 10 seconds and just fight through the point. And I didn't really know what was going on. I was just trying to like just scrap and just kind of went into limbo, just trying to compete. Really happy with the way me and Joe just kept competing, trying to do the right stuff. And yeah, it worked out in the end. Uh, got broken in the second set, but just kept on doing the right stuff. Got back into it and, and just really got a game going. And, and I think it's one of the better matches we played together. Obviously very happy with scrapping through that first set and yeah, got the job done. But yeah, let's try to just survive this day and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ciao.